Well, now, uh, Fitzy, it's that time you've been talking about a special guest. Yeah. Go on, then. Because, Mel, I know that you're it's a huge... Be good. I know that you're a huge harness racing fan, Mel. Um, and you've had some huge names, Mick, on the sure. all-sports front bar. Pat Cummings, yeah, yeah Pat Rafter, Rafter, David Boone, yeah. Cam Smith. Cam Smith, yeah, these are the best in, of the best, top 1%. Oh, guys, I've snagged one of the biggest of all. He is the voice of the South Australian harness racing. He retired in summer. <laughs> it's Jimmy Jakes! <laughs> What an intro. Great oh. to see you, Jimmy. Oh, yeah, those people listening, hey, what an anti-climax. <laughs> <laughs> no, Jimmy, for anyone who doesn't know Jimmy, Jimmy called one of the greatest races of all time. And I'm not talking about the finish of the race. There was a bit of an obstacle that he had to get through during the race. Have a listen to this. On the inside, Lindell Dainty, and at the turn in the field, we're looking about five or six metres to move around, we boy. I think we're going here in front, leading the way. It's a liar, Rose. Leads by two metres in second placing. No, I don't think I'll get through this. Hello, Gatesy, where are you? We need you, mate. In front of Liar Rose, down the outside. Trying hard, was one step closer. <laughs> but a Liar Rose wins. Second placing. We own a teach, and I think we oh. are. On the inside, cop an eyeful, and that's it for me for the day. <laughs> now, I've, I've got a couple of questions. Number that was one, race one yeah, that was, <laughs> number one, where the hell was Yatesy? I went to high school with Yatesy. Actually, yeah. number two, was that was that the start of the day? Like, it was, it was the first race. It was actually that was the fourth shift that I had calling in a row. That oh. was on Monday afternoon. I had Friday, I went to Glebe Derby. My voice was a bit scratchy, so I said, <laughs> said to my wife. My voice isn't good, so she made me a, a honey and lemon flask to take to Glebe Derby Saturday night, called there, it got worse. Sunday, I didn't want to go to, to work because I had Port Perry trots, yeah. but the, we, we were at capacity. There was no one left, so I said, ah, oh, stuff it, I'll go, I'll call. <laughs> Priscilla made me another thermos flask of honey and lemon. Yeah. And then when it come to Monday, because I'm stubborn, I said, oh, I went to work yesterday, I shouldn't, I'll go to work today. <sighs> and that was the first race. And I actually, that was the introduction of Sky 2, and yep. I actually did a... A, a, a preview of the meeting before, and it was funny. Grant Boyden was the guy who was the presenter. He said, "Now let's go to uh, Jimmy Jakes for the uh, preview and uh, listen to his dulcet toys." Hi, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> So I did that. That was 20 minutes worth. Yeah. As soon as I finished that, I rang Brenton Yates. I yeah. said, Yatesy, I said, mate, I'm stuffed. He said, well, I'm out shopping with my daughter, Matisse. He said, the earliest I can get there is in two hours. I said, look, I, I, I got the first in 20 minutes. I'll yeah. see how yeah. I go. And you saw how I went. Wow. Very good. Very good. <laughs> you, you're the consummate professional, though, Jakesy. I must admit, and your preparation, you were known for your preparation. Look, when they threw to you, you were always on the ball. Have a listen to this. Hey, Globe Derby, let's get, get out nice and early and say a very good afternoon to Jim Jakes. Hey, uh, yeah, I was wondering if, uh, if I could order a, um, a beef schnitzel. <laughs> <laughs> First, OK, a couple of things here as well. I know that there's a veal schnitzel and a chicken, I've never heard of a beef schnitzel. <laughs> Did you get the schnitzel? Did you eat well, that before the race? see, the thing is, they gave, they gave me a chicken schnitzel. <laughs> Yeah. I ordered a beef because the week before I got a beef schnitzel, yeah. so I asked for a beef schnitzel. Oh, now, Jimmy, you're a gun. Unless beef schnitzel is the name of an actual horse that should never be mentioned yeah. during <laughs> her thing. Hey, you are my second favourite race caller. OK. Uh, <laughs> with... <laughs> Jeez, he's that, right. He's right there. Is, <laughs> that, that is high praise. The only man I put above you is the man who... Well, when you're calling a race, <laughs> you've got one job, and that's to name horses. And uh, this one had dash clear, uh, nicely clear, and um, it's not H then less, I'll pick it up in the moment. I can tell you now that uh, it's... Um, uh, I'm not sure. Sorry. The only man you should bow to is, yeah. is, is that guy there. Well uh, done, Jimmy. Yeah. Well done. It, it's, it's a difficult thing. Yeah. It sure is, Jimmy. Congratulations. But you, yeah, you've had a terrific career. Over a quarter of a century calling... And, uh, what, 17 Tour Down Unders as well? Congratulations. Yeah, yeah uh, thanks, Mel. Yeah, I did the first 17 editions of the Tour Down Under, uh, which has grown to a fantastic sport. But, yeah, it's been a good time. But 25 years, my voice is a bit shot, as you can hear. <laughs> <laughs> or Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy. No, it's got to be big tonsils to fill. Yeah, yeah, That's it is. <laughs> and, Jimmy, stick around, grab yourself a furphy, and also I got you a beef schnitzel as well. Yeah. <laughs>